Hello Taurus and welcome to your reading for the 17th until the 23rd of June. We're going to call in the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Light Beings, Spirit Guides, our Higher Selves and any other Higher Consciousness Collectives that would like to assist us with this reading. And these are general readings so please take what resonates. Okay Taurus, let's grab you a card now. And here we have the Ten of Swords. So you are simply coming to the end of a cycle, which is heralding in a new beginning of sorts for you. Perhaps that is a new lifestyle. It might be a new job. It might be a new relationship, a new friendship, a new uh, location, wherever you're living, anything new. So let's grab here and it might also be a new way of thinking so maybe you're letting go of some old beliefs okay or old values that are no longer serving you let's look at a card here we're using the Lemurian star child oracle today so this is going to be the second card and then we'll continue with the other ones my lovely Alice in Wonderland deck so here we go cosmic self Taurus Wow, so to some extent you're letting go of perhaps some a lot of density, okay, of the third dimension, that we're, st we're still living in the third dimension, okay, but it could be that consciously in your, your mind you're, you're becoming more discerning as to what's heavy energy and what's not, and I think you're letting go of a lot of, you know, heavy energies in terms of dense, low vibe stuff, and you're moving into these high frequency, your cosmic self, which is really exciting. Let's just read under here. You are a cosmic being. Stay confident in your truth. Okay, Taurus. So if you're beginning to feel into that energy, uh, then this is confirmation for you. And the other great thing here, I've just noticed, this is the, it's like the brow chakra is lighting up. So indeed you are using your, perception and your powers of um, observation and communication as well but because we have the suit of swords here that's coming to the end of the sword suit it could definitely symbolize that you are beginning to perceive the qualities of your thoughts that are helpful and the qualities that are of your thoughts that are not helpful and that you are able to let go of the ones that are just not working for you anymore okay and it may even be that you might be pulling away from certain types of communication maybe certain certain types of dramas certain types of um yeah i mean you might even be pulling back on your social media there could be um things there that you're just going well i've kind of done with this bit of it you know um but yeah take what resonates okay um so let's just grab a card now for something that's happened recently. This is really exciting though. I mean, you are upping in frequency. Uh, this is the strength card. Wow. So something's happened recently for you, uh, Taurus, that has really empowered you. And it might be that you've overcome something within yourself. Perhaps you've had an attachment to something or a little bit of an addiction or something like that and you are working through that and releasing it and that you are by doing that you're demonstrating that you have this strength okay um this could be what this card is speaking of here uh really awesome and let's grab some another card here for like another energy that you're bringing in from the past you know and it could be your skills and talents let's have a look so here we have the King of Pentacles, who also appeared in Aries reading. King of Pentacles is the Capricorn energy, the ability for, you know, you're a bit of a builder. You like to be constructive, uh, to create things, to build them up slowly over time. This could be an energy that you were sort of around as a child. So perhaps um, your parents were great at doing that sort of thing. Like maybe they had long-term goals and they were really great at just doing those incremental steps in order to achieve the goal. Or this could be an energy, of course, that is, is within you um, as well as or uh, perhaps different from what you're um, brought up as. But 
yeah, so this is a very masterful energy of being able to create your reality and for you to feel, I mean, Taurus, you are on Earth sign as well, so that you have a very strong sense that you have a, a great connection to the material, to the physical, and to be able to manifest things into the physical world, okay, which is really great. Let's have a look now at what is likely to unfold. And I'll just cut the deck here. Wow, Queen of Pentacles. That's what's likely to unfold, and that is that you are going to be, this is like divine feminine and divine masculine. Okay, feminine and masculine aspect. So a great balance, but the earth element, which is really lovely, grounding, all about growth, nurturing. So it's looking here, Taurus, like even though you've let go of something and you might, you may be feeling a little bit, um, a little bit, possibly a little bit out of sorts, but you're also identifying that you have a lot of inner strength. And because we have the earth, a lot of two earth cards in here, the masterful earth energy, I'm going to also suggest that grounding, being in nature, doing something with your hands, doing some gardening, doing some physical work, uh, you know, um, could be really helpful for you at this time. And this is just a really, sorry, a really lovely energy of nurturing. Okay, so you are going to be able to hold space for yourself, you know, because of you have this strength and you have the ability to create growth and to manifest things. And this is just really positive. Very positive right now. Um, okay, so let's look at an opportunity for you, Taurus, that may present itself in the nearish future. Okay, so there's going to be an opportunity for you to just chillax. And this is, it's understandable that this type of energy can also uh, indicate, you know, exhaustion, perhaps energy, energetic depletion, or maybe you're just feeling mentally exhausted. It could be that you've come to the end of a particular job role that you've been doing for quite a few years and you're just, you know, you're hammered and you just want to take some time out. So there may be an opportunity for you to do this. This is what the Four of Swords means is rest, recovery, uh, even perhaps meditation, some self-reflection, but essentially to be able to take some time to rejuvenate your energies, okay, to rejuvenate your uh, your will and your motivation. So, yeah, and doing whatever you need to do in order for that to kind of come into being. Um, and... You know, part of being the, the cosmic self is about, it says here, staying confident in your truth. So even um, if you've just let go of something, which you probably feel, whatever you've let go of, the letting go has been in the name of your alignment. So you have felt that you needed to let go of something in order to be in better alignment. That this is just to keep... Um, emphasizing that and to keep supporting yourself in that okay and the king of queen of pentacles are also those are also those energies of being able to hold space for yourself as you go through um, some transitions and changes possibly uh, so this is looking really positive taurus and um, the reading is flowing really well at the moment let's just grab now a card for your inner dreams wishes um, or your perspective and yeah you are really wanting to literally start again this is a page of pentacles so starting again in whatever venture um, you know if you've let go of something here which may be a job role you're literally going to be looking for a new job role maybe you've let go of an old way of being and you're wanting to start on a new um, perhaps a new lifestyle perhaps you're looking into health and well-being because this the suit of earth or pentacles um, speaks of the physical world, the material world, but also the body. Okay, so it might be that you are, um, you know, that you're looking to perhaps prioritize your health and well being a little more. Uh, could be a possibility there, Taurus. If that resonates, there might be uh, something else too. There might be just a new job, or perhaps it is a new location, a new connection, a new friendship. Okay. 
let's have a look here now at uh, your environment or you know how others see you so okay at the moment Taurus it looks like you are there are two two sides to something that you're considering um, so this could be to do with this energy here of you know if you're feeling uh, tired but you haven't sort of perhaps you haven't fully actioned that in terms of well I need to let that go fully you could just have a sense that something is like that you need to let go or you need to finish a cycle so maybe you are considering that at the moment and this could be others could be viewing you uh, as being possibly indecisive but we always need times where we have where we go within in order to make decisions you know some some decisions you can't just make overnight okay there is the you do need to be able to take time to work out the best course of action and perhaps others are viewing you um, as doing that at the moment the two of swords is generally always a card at night it's well actually some decks it's sort of like an evening card so it could be and because we have the water back here it's about you looking into your subconscious as well so and really kind of um yeah looking at deep-seated patterns that perhaps you feel have been <clears throat> holding you back and it could simply be that if you're holding on to this energy that maybe there's a pattern there as well that if you are perpetually um you know exhausted or extremely mentally fatigued uh ongoing that maybe there's um something that you need to unpack or look into around that theme possibly if that resonates so this is a card of uh you know sitting on the bench and just really going inward to work out um, the best course of action and perhaps during these times when you if you are doing this maybe you're feeling into your cosmic self maybe there you are or that this is could be informing or influencing even the fact that you are sitting in this this energy is making you realize that oh maybe i do need to look at what's going on here a little more closely and that's fine because it's all in the name of your personal growth and you moving into a greater happiness abundance and well-being okay this is what the cosmic self or the higher self really um resonates in that unconditional love and so this is the, the goal um is for you to identify your truth okay and then stay confident in that and keep supporting that personal truth of yours and this could of course be what you are contemplating here okay you're really working out what's true for you let's have a look here at now at a long-term goal or it could be something that you're concerned about let's have a look okay so this is about you know your ships coming in literally and uh, it's about moving forward you have a you have already achieved quite a bit in your life but there's another step that you're looking to take okay so there's another phase that you're contemplating there might be new vistas and new things to discover you know um, and it may literally be about this a spiritual journey for you a journey into your soul self or your cosmic self even uh so yeah the three of wands is did i say sword sorry it is one so that is this suit of fire as well which is the suit of passion so it could be about you identifying a new passion um but really coming from a nice strong base i mean you have you know the strength here you have your you know the king of pentacles you have a good uh foundation in terms of um support behind you and so you are looking to um, move into new areas which I'm I'm thinking because this card has come out that you're looking into your spiritual self your spirituality now so you might like to investigate you know things like the energy body like the chakras um, you know energetic even any types of energy healing um, and yeah galactic uh, realms 
types of sp different types of spiritual paths, even um, different types of philosophies. Okay, you might be looking into. Um, and there could be other things too, other meanings that have come up for you from the images on these cards. Okay. Um, let's have a look here now. Best course of action to take, and boom. This is about you finding some like-minded people to uh, lighten up your situation. And even if you are in decision-making mode, it's fine to actually take some time away from that and just, you know, <clears throat> go and have some fun. Do something you enjoy, something that you love to do. And, yeah, with people that you resonate with. Because that can then help you to move into even to move into this energy of the cosmic self because our higher selves do vibrate with unconditional love joy and bliss okay so ultimately our aim is that we are all going to be and this is probably a long way down the track but we're many of us are starting this process now that is that ultimately very high frequency civilizations they reside in unconditional love like all of the time okay and they are Often they're super conscious and they are very creative and they can, you know, do many things with their minds and their abilities, their psychic abilities and their higher consciousness and their awareness. Okay, and this is what we are evolving towards. There would be very, very few of us that are in that energy all the time. Okay, but at the moment we are going through this phase, we are, we are getting snippets of that. And some people can be in it, that energy for a few hours, I guess. Maybe some people are in that energy a lot of the time. Um, and we do have a lot of uh, physical demands and responsibilities that we need to take care of. Um, but as time progresses and as those as those responsibilities and needs and practicalities are taken care of with more ease through um, advanced technologies, I'm not necessarily talking about AI here, but... Um, that could play a role, okay, but I'm not necessarily in, I'm not advocating for it and I'm not advocating against it totally, but um, that could play a role. But even then in terms of, you know, if that whole structure is going to change, the whole housing system might change, the, um, you know, our whole infrastructure is going to change. But, um, you know, but even through all of those changes, we need to come into centre, okay. We need to be able to come into our centre and to really create that vibration of, of joy here in our cosmic self so that we can um, tune even tune into even other galactic collectives which uh, who are going to be assisting us at some point in this process. You know, they will be supporting us because um, they because they are on other off-world, in other galactic um, realms, whatever happens on Earth energetically ripples out to other collectives. So all of these collectives that are operating, you know, unconditional love, they support one another through all of these ascension processes. And many of them that are supporting us would have been supported in the past by others to go through their ascension process. So we are being supported. And, then, and in the future we will support other collectives to go through their ascension process. So um, I know a lot of people, there's a lot of fear out there where people think, you know, that um, aliens are coming in to, um, you know, control us and all the rest of it. That's actually a real fear, low vibe kind of way to think about it. Um, much better for us to think of ourselves as, you know, really empowered cosmic beings, which we are. And these other collectives know that as well because they are resonating in their power. And they really want to help us to resonate in ours, okay? So this is what we are all doing. And uh, Taurus, I believe that you will, by starting this process, to give yourself some joy experiences, okay? It's going to help you to lift your vibration um, and to really help you to consolidate this release process and to help you to, you know, identify your truth and to, yeah, start something new. And you have this strength, you know, you have the strength here. You have the ability to nurture yourself and to hold space for yourself as well, okay? I, um, 
you know, symbolized by all these cards. So that's what I have for you today, Hor Taurus. I nearly said Horus. Taurus. Uh, so, yeah, I hope that's helpful and I look forward to our next reading. In the meantime, have a fantastic day and an awesome week and I will catch you again soon. Bye for now.